Hello! Today on What's My Drug Box, episode number three, we are going to talk about albuterol, which actually falls under two separate drug classes, beta agonists and bronchodilators. Albuterol is indicated in patients experiencing bronchitis with bronchospasm, an asthma attack, exacerbation of COPD, and it's also indicated in patients experiencing anaphylaxis after epinephrine and Benadryl have been administered. It's contraindicated in patients with a sensitivity to albuterol or levobuterol. It's used with caution in patients that are lactating, and in patients with cardiovascular disease or cardiac arrhythmias. It is a class C teratogen. According to the website pdr.net, when albuterol is inhaled, the beta-2 agonist activates the beta-2 adrenergic receptors on smooth muscle in the airway, which leads to the activation of the hormone adenocyclase and an increase in intracellular CAMP. CAMP stands for cyclic adenosine monophosphate and it's part of the intracellular signaling system within eukaryotic cells. The website also states that the increase in CAMP activates protein kinase A which inhibits the phosphorylation or introduction of a phosphate group of myosin, which leads to a decrease in intracellular calcium and airway smooth muscle relaxation. The intended effect of albuterol is smooth muscle relaxation and bronchodilation. Adverse effects include hyperglycemia, hypokalemia, palpitations, sinus tachycardia, anxiety, tremors, nausea and vomiting, throat irritation, headache, epistaxis, and paradoxical bronchospasm, which is bronchospasm that occurs after the administration of albuterol. Prior to administering any medication to a patient, please consult your local protocols first, as your medical director may require you to give a different dose than what I have here. For adult patients, I give 5 milligrams by nebulizer up to 30 milligrams in an hour. Patients may also receive albuterol from a duonep. A duoneb is two medications in one nebulizer. That dose is also 5 milligrams, but with 0 0.5 milligrams of ipratropium bromide as well. And that dose may be repeated two times. Pediatric patients receive 2.5 milligrams of albuterol up to 30 milligrams in an hour. Pediatric patients may also receive a duoneb, though their dose is slightly different. Pediatric patients receive 2.5 milligrams with 0 0.5 milligrams of ipratropium bromide, and that dose can be repeated two times. If you would like to learn more about albuterol, please check out the links in the description. Until next time, have a great day.